Now, is there a constitution by which the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, internationally are governed? I don't think I could answer that, but my understanding is clearly just what the Bible has to say. Because just seeking to address it for a moment from a legal perspective, uh, what I understand from the statements is that one has a governing body operating in, or situated in New York, but having an operation, I suppose, throughout the world, and then branches in various geographic areas, and also congregations yes. within the jurisdiction of each branch. That's right so far, isn't it? Yes. Um, and in Australia, it said that each congregation is a, in a legal sense, voluntary association, is that right? Yes. And yet the congregations take their direction and instructions from the branch, which in turn takes its direction and instruction from the governing body. That would be right, factually. Yes, I think that's a reasonable. So now, by w operation of what legal rule or norm does does that occur? In other words, by what Sorry. legal rule or norm does the congregation take its direction from the branch? Is there a constitution, a contract, a corporation? Is there something that does it? Not that I'm aware of. So is it is it not the case that the governing body uh, sets out what the roles and responsibilities of all the various structures are in their relationship to each other, and these, and the whole system internationally is operated in accordance with that. You're really talking to me about an area I don't have much experience in in terms of that. I just work in a local branch, but uh, I think in general terms what you're saying I would understand to be correct. And is there a, a manual or a document uh, published by the governing body which, which sets that out, what its responsibilities are, what the branch's responsibilities are, and so on? I'm unaware of any such document. So is there not, to your knowledge, a document which sets out the responsibilities of each of the governing body committees, for example? I have no knowledge about that whatsoever. And a document, perhaps, which... Uh, sets out how the members of branch committees are to be appointed? I have no knowledge about that. I've never seen or heard of such things. Can I just understand, <coughs> are you the senior lawyer advising the Jehovah's Witness in Australia? I'm not sure about senior, but I look, I look after the, uh, the legal department. But. I'm being asked questions about things that I really haven't been involved in at all. I know, but I'm trying to get to understand your relationship to the management structure in Australia and in New York, you see. Um, and, and normally in an organisation, if there's a legal department and a head lawyer, then um, that person's services would be used to advise in relation to documents, um, the meaning of documents, the drafting of documents and so on. Nothing. I've never been involved in any of the document types of situations that I'm being asked about at all. Well, then who in the branch here uh, holds the reins? Where does the, the branch committee? The committee. And how many people are on that committee? Probably nine or ten, but it might be. It's around that figure. I'm not actually so certain, but it's somewhere around that figure. And is that their job?